Uh, well, stage one melt cats on a 3.0 TC7. I know you guys have mentioned this before, stating it is safe, but I have seen many reviews as well as a video from C7 owners saying they will eventually go. Well, yeah, I mean, they eventually go stock. Those cat, the yeah. three liter cats just do not hold up stocks. So it's, it's a maintenance item. Unfortunately, you've got to replace them from time to time. Um, no, I mean, we have uh, stage one, you know, 91 carb files, meaning that, you know, they, they, tested they looked at our our calibration they you know gave us the 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 you know exemption uh, based on the calibration changes we had made with the stock catalysts and everything in place so um no we we do not you know there's nothing in there that is going to uh, rapidly accelerate the wear of those catalysts over you know, what a, a factory calibration would yeah i was asking why isn't there a more reliable catalytic Converter upgrade for the 3.0 T supercharged platform besides test pipe, downstream cats. Hellcat GT500 also runs superchargers with cats. Why is it such a problem? Yeah. Uh, well, this, this question is sort of a red herring. Um, the, the issue with cats isn't whether they're reliable or not. The issue is the, the catalytic converter is, is federally uh, regulated in a way that nobody else can make it, right? So... If the factory one isn't great or having issues, um, there's really no way for aftermarket manufacturers to come out with a better version because basically by law, only the original Audi Volkswagen Cat is legally sellable. Um, so there, you, you know, you're now open to all the myriad of aftermarket high flow cat racing cat options. Um, some of those may be more reliable, you know, I don't know. Um, but um there's just n there's not a market or an opportunity for anyone to make a better flowing cat uh, better yeah it's it's, it's it's not unfortunately it's such a closed um you know there's no door to entry essentially you have to essentially be an oem or invest hundreds of thousands of dollars yeah. in, in you know this one product um to, to get through all of the regulations to even be able to sell it so and the oem just has to you know this is a catalyst that was developed in what 2008 probably 2007 whenever they were you know developing this platform internally um and you know it lasted enough for what they needed for their engineering goals yeah. um and it you know enough of them lasted long enough that they were able to satisfy the the dirt, durability requirements for the emissions testing um so you know that's that's it was good enough um so yeah so this question is sort of like asking like why hasn't the pharmaceutical industry developed a safer methamphetamine crack that doesn't make your teeth fall out and make you look like you're a thousand years old that not, not years. the correlation i was yeah. <laughs> but it's like well because it's illegal like you know uh, bear pharmaceuticals isn't going to go out and research how to make uh you know crack cocaine uh, healthier because it's, it's, there's just no opportunity to do that. And it, this is essentially the, the same thing for cats. So um, the the B8, while the B8 Cali converter factory isn't as reliable as it could be, it's also not horrible. Yeah, and they actually aren't a huge performance hindrance. In, in, not, not nearly. You know, so it's, it's people say. Yeah, they're, they're, it's a maintenance item. Um, you've got to yeah, install new ones when they yeah. start going. So my, my point is, it's not an engineering problem. It's a regulatory legality problem. And so, you know, there's, there's, like Nate said, there's just no money in figuring yeah. out how to make a more reliable cat because you wouldn't be able to sell it. Yeah. Until the regulatory bodies develop, you know, a way for some, you know, for, for the aftermarket to be able to provide better than OEM products in this regard, the, yeah, there's not much. Reason.